Hey everyone, this is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects store on everyone's second favorite day of the week, not Effects Friday. It is actually Magnificent Monday, Malicious Monday. I have no idea what I'm doing right now, but I haven't talked to you guys in a while, so I thought that I'd give you guys an extra tutorial this week on Monday. Um, it is kind of late. I was watching football for my fantasy purposes and such, but I haven't talked to you guys in forever. It was my birthday, and then I went on a family vacation, so I'm sorry I got I have a life. I'm very sorry about that, but anyway, you guys don't want to hear about that. You guys want to learn about expressions and more or less how to control something that, contrary to popular belief, can be controlled. Now, normally, you know, you put expressions in and they, you know, they're pretty random, but you can control them. But anyway, I was hired to make a new intro for these people. They're pretty popular on YouTube. Uh, they're rebranding their entire site and stuff like that. So this was the old intro. They really liked it, but, you know, I think I improved it a little bit. It's very Andrew Kramer-esque. Uh, here is what I came up with. You guys are the first people to even see this. Okay, so don't tell anyone. Or I'm going to be so mad. Check that out, guys. Um, same idea. Burst through. Andrew Kramery. Uh, but with my own little spin on it. Looks kind of cool, right? Um, I like it a lot. But the tutorial today is not really focusing on how I did this. It's more or less focusing on controlling the expressions. Uh, how I made the camera move like this. Slow down all by using expressions and something called a slide controller. So, uh, let's bring up After Effects. And also, guys, uh, for all my hard work, I'm sorry, I always ask for likes, but it helps us out a lot. Please give this video a like. And also, don't forget to leave a comment, because I will leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video. So, yeah, leave a comment. Um, I don't know if there's anything to download today. I might give something to download. Just go check out just check it com in our download section. And, uh, you know, have a look at all of our tutorials. So, anyway, let's get to the nitty gritty. So, here's what you'll notice. Uh, I dumbed down everything. I turned off motion blur and everything because this is a very intense project. Look at this. So, um, basically, here's what we're going to be learning right here. This thing right here. Let's go into here. Here is what is controlling the expression. So, I have my camera. And then that is being controlled by a null object right here. See? Being controlled by a null object. And that null object is actually having an expression applied to it. But then I pick whipped it to this null object, which has a slider control. And uh, that's the gist of it. But there is another way of doing it, which is the first way I'm going to show you. So let's get to that. So let's first just delete this stuff because uh, we really don't need it. Yeah, we do, but we're going to remake it. So first... Here is what you're going to want to do. Let's just create a new null object. So go up to the layer, new. And once you've created your camera, well, actually, let's even start there. Let's just start from nothing. So it's very boring if you just start from nothing. It's like, boom, see that? I mean, it still looks cool, but. So let's go up here, new, layer, camera. So new camera, let's just call it camera. Boom, enter, and, uh, yeah, so we're going to want to control it, right? And you, everyone knows if you go into here and you go to your camera options and the transform, that's very tedious. You don't want to do it that way. You want to parent it to a null object. So let's create a new null object and let's just hit enter and rename it cam control. And now with uh, the camera layer selected, let's pick whip it to cam control. And now this We'll set it to a 3D later, and uh, if you don't have this option, you can hit F4, or just down here on the toggle switch modes, and uh, you can make it a 3D layer. But then let's drop down the options, transform options, and now, uh, if we, you know, drag this, we will actually control the camera, which is awesome. You know, scale going backwards, we'll zoom it in, scale going past 100, we'll zoom it out, uh, stuff that you probably already know already. But what you probably don't know right now, well, real fast, let's hit Y. Just move this center point. Just annoys me. Let's move it to the center. It just bothers me. Okay, so now, normally what we would do is we would hit Alt and hold it and then just create an expression. Click on the stopwatch with uh, Alt selected. And we're just going to type in wiggle 
parenthesis, what, 5, comma, 10. And what this is saying, and what this stands for, I don't know if I've ever really explained this to you guys, this first number is something called the frequency, or how many times a second this will happen. So it will happen five times, and the second number represents the amplitude, or how much it will happen. So five times a second, it will be altered 10 like whatever the value is so by 10 so the position will every five seconds move by 10 degrees see that pretty cool right but what we want to do is we want to create another another null object and we're going to call this the expression control and something different about um expressions and stuff like that is once you type in that expression it's very easy but it's just once you have it that way it doesn't move you can't control it so what we want to do is we want to go up to the effects and presets and type in slide and you'll find slider controller and we'll click and drag it onto the expression control and then here's what you want to do this is very important a lot of people forget to do this so we will select the first value let's just make them both zero real quick just to make things easy. So the first value, we'll select it. You have to select it, then pick whip it to the slider controller. So you have to have the expression control selected while you're in this expression on a different layer. I know it's weird. And then you can pick whip it to the slider controller. So now that first zero gets replaced with all of this new data, which is basically saying that number will be whatever you put into here. So let's say we want to make it the same way. We'll type in 5 right here. And then we'll create another slider controller by clicking and dragging into here. Let's call this first one. This was the frequency. And this one is the amplitude. Gosh, there we go. I can never type when I'm on camera. Goodness, you guys embarrass me. Okay, so we will click and drag that on that zero. Pick whip up to the slider controller. Boom. And we will just type in 10. So now, what's nice about this, and you, you, I know you guys are all saying right now, Eli, why would I even do this? You're so stupid. Well, you mean person. Here's why you'd want to do that. So at this point, it's just boring, right? It's just sitting there and it's just going... We actually don't even want it to be shaking at this point. So we can now keyframe the values. So let's bring down the effects and bring down both of these so we can boom. So now it's at, let's just put them both to zero real quick. Boom. So now these keyframes are at zero. But once the explosion happens, we want it to go crazy. And I'm talking, let's do for the frequency every... S seven times a second, actually no, more like five. Let's not go too crazy. Seven times, or five, five times a second, it's going to move by 70 degrees. And let's bring this in. I'm just uh, changing the render area. I'm hitting zero to pre-render. And now you will see what will happen. Boom. Actually, I should probably drag this out so you guys can see that it is... It is indeed not moving. And then, boom. So, boom, boom. Could actually be even more, in my opinion. So maybe I do want to change it to seven. Yeah. Well, I guess also part of the reason why, I'm just going to do this real quick. I'm going to do a quick zoom in at this point as well. So at zero, I'm going to keyframe the scale. So from zero to... Let's make it zoom in right about here. Let's uh, make it zoom in to like really far in. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That'll make a jump. So now we'll hit zero. Ah, wait, hold on, sorry. I know that I also want it to zoom out too because then you won't notice a difference. So let's go back out to 100. That'll make a nice keyframe right there. Hit zero. And... <clears throat> Check that out. It's going crazy. <laughs> I 
Yeah, this is a pretty cool intro. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not trying to pimp this channel or anything, guys. I just wanted to teach you guys what I learned because I'm a nice guy. You know that. We're always trying to look out for our subscribers, and you guys are awesome. We have, like, the best subscribers ever. And I felt really bad that I hadn't been making any tutorials, so that's why you're getting two this week from me. You guys should be happy. So, boom. Look at that. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. That looks crazy. Okay, so here is also why you want to do it. So it's going, right? But then you never, if you just uh, left it to the regular, uh, just the regular expression, you'd have to find a different way to make it stop, you know, by hitting like control shift D and splitting the layer and then turning off the expression on that second layer. And you just have a bunch of layers if you did that. So that's why this just cleans everything up and it's amazing. So by this point, uh, we'll leave the 5 there and we'll actually just bring this down to 0. And we'll actually hit F9 to make it an easy ease. And we'll hit 0 just so it can uh, kind of calm down. So boom, it's shaking like crazy at first. Uh, oh my goodness, it just exploded. And then it'll slowly stop and we actually don't want it to go to zero because then it won't move anymore I should have made it one I'm so stupid well check it out see and then it stops look how just amazing that is so that is uh, the first way I wanted to show you that is the the best way to do it the more common way that a lot of people do it because they think this way is too complicated this is what they'll do so They'll have the expression here. Let's just retype that expression. Let's just do... It's really easy. Just It was just a 5, comma, what, 70? Okay, so 5, comma, 70. And what we want it to do is we want to select the expression, go up to Animation, then go to Keyframe Assistant. Oh, whoops, sorry. You have to actually select the position. And then go to... Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Oh, it auto-saved. Goodness, After Effects, you're killing me here. Then go Convert Expression to Keyframes. And what that will do is, boom, create a bunch of little dots. You're like, Eli, I can't even see that. Well, there's this thing called the Graph Editor, which is something I really want to dive into with you guys because it is how you make some very awesome, amazing effects. So this way you can actually get more <laughs> involved, and uh, this is the more common way of doing it. Um, but I don't like doing it this way. I think the slide controller is a lot more clean. And you can actually go in here and edit each point. You can select multiple points. You can change them over here. You know, you can make them easy ease right here. You can uh, make them Bezier. Bezier, sorry. I'm not, not French. Goodness, guys. So uh, I'm, I don't like doing it this way. But I just want to show you guys that there's multiple ways of doing it. So anyway, I hope that you guys learned something today. And... Um, I hope you guys like this intro because I spent a lot of time on it. So, uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to give this video a like, and uh, I'll put all my favorite comments in at the end. So, uh, yeah, I guess stay tuned for that, guys, and I'll see you on the next, well, no, in a few days on Effects Friday. Peace.